you know, we look over healthy people and people that work out, and many of us think, boy, you know, I wouldn't mind if I was in that kind of a good health. But you know what? I, I want to share some things with you today because there's no magic pill or easy way to get around this. But one of the things we can do is in the area of our heart health. Do you know that heart disease is the number one killer of Americans? More than cancer and more than any heart, uh, you know, accidents. And do you know that heart health, if it's ignored, leads to premature death and debilitating stroke? In fact, people with diabetes, is about 21 million, they're extraordinarily in dangerous pathways there if there's not some caution. So I want to talk to you today about this, how you can cut cholesterol 100 points in literally 100 days. No drugs, no surgery, and no lie. And I want you to know, I did it. And I have the medical records right in front of me that's what this is from St. Thomas Hospital, and over 92 days, I literally saw this. Here's what I saw. I had my cholesterol, which should be under 200, went from 282 down to 182. And then the LDL, which is the bad you know, cholesterol, mine went from 205 to 106. That's 99 points. I want to help you because this could be a matter of life or death for you. We're going to look at 10 or 12, I should say, points and I trust this will be helpful. But number one, I want to emphasize is prayer. We need to admit our need. This is not just a matter of, well, I'll give it a try and hope everything works out. We need to cry out to God. Number two, what we need to do is make a commitment and then stick to that commitment. This is not something, well, I'll give it a couple days, let's give it a try. I'm encouraging you for 90 days or more to stick with this. And then number three, write these points down and review them. Keep it before you. That's really important. So let's look at them. Number one, we need to clear the decks. Clear the decks means you need to take a look at what you're eating because see, you know, genetics or family history, smoking, weight, diet, exercise, all of these come into play. But you gotta take a close look at what you're eating and you gotta clear the decks of food that are fatty and garbagey. Some of you saw Super Size Me. Remember the guy that ate at this fast food restaurant for weeks and weeks? Man, that guy was so sick. You are what you eat. So you gotta examine the labels and clear the decks with any stuff that is detrimental. Number two, what you need to do is commit to exercise. And with a doctor's counsel, because I don't know your age, I did 30 minutes every single day of brisk walking. And I mean brisk, I'm not talking just kind of a casual stroll. I go to a mall and you can go there, it's perfect, the temperature, everything, and you can briskly walk. You've gotta get your heart rate going and get that exercise. Then number three is this, Metamucil. You might say, Metamucil? Well, Metamucil has properties within it so that if you'll mix it, there's a psyllium powder there. And literally, the FDA said there's two products that help reduce cholesterol. We're going to hit another one, but I want you to know, Metamucil, once in the morning, once at night, mix it. may take a little time to get ready, but it's going to help absorb, reduce, and you can even reverse some of this arteriosclerosis. Go to part two right now, and let's look at the other seven, eight, or nine points.